Got those promised highlights for us, huh? That big win for IU? We most certainly do. And a little bit later, we'll have Don and Jerry. But first, let's take a look at the highlights in this one. The pride of the Hoosier State uh, won tonight, 63-50 to over North Carolina. Let's take a look at those highlights right now. This was an exciting game all the way. Believe me, the Tar Heels scored the game's first hoop of the contest behind the play of Al Wood and Big James Worthy. They opened up a 16-8 to lead on this one. They worked the ball inside there in the early going. But the Hoosiers, playing their aggressive brand of defense, battled back. And behind the play of Landon Turner and the outside shooting of Randy Whitman, they tied it up at 22 apiece. Yes, sir. And then, right at the buzzer, Whitman hit a jumper to give the Hoosiers their first lead of the ball game at 27-26 at halftime. The Hoosiers came storming out in the second half, just as they did against LSU in the semifinals. And it was Isaiah Thomas who led them, making two consecutive steals for easy layups. He ended up with 23 points. And his cohort in the backcourt, Randy Whitman, popped him from the outside as the Hoosiers jumped to a 39-30 lead and went on to victory. Like our Maryland game, we got down uh, six or eight to nothing in a Maryland game, and we didn't take a timeout. And I was thinking about that at the beginning of the ball game. I didn't want to take a timeout uh, to start with, and then we got back in the game then Carolina pulled away at 16 to 8 and I really thought that that was a crucial point in the whole game for us I thought that when we moved back into a tie game and Whitman hit the shot at the end of the half that we were in good shape when we went off the floor I think Carolina had a chance to take us out of the game in the first half but our kids did a heck of a job hanging in there and just didn't let them do it the second half was a key for us I think guys they got a couple of steals that really sparked it for us uh, we just sustained our play in the second half we kept things going, and then we just kept our spread offense. We played hard on defense. We made them make, we made them make a lot of turnovers. Uh, here we are, number one. What do you have to say back to the guys in Indianapolis? Hey, fellas, back in Indianapolis, it feels good. That's hey, all I can say. <laughs> Sure felt good to Landon Turner and everybody else in the state, but now let's go back live via exclusive satellite to Don Hine and Jerry Harkness in Philadelphia. Live by satellite from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Don Hine, Jerry Harkness. Jerry's been uh, hustling his body back and <laughs> forth here with just interviews. What did you think of the game overall, Guy? Well, just about as expected, Don. No doubt it was a strategy. Dean did a good job with the talent he had, but uh, the big play, I think, and the key strategy is moving Randy Whitman to forward. Yeah. And, of course, that gave the team speed, and it put Thomas at a guard who played a heck of a ball game at that position. So, actually, at the time, it might have been a bonus for uh, Kitchell to have gotten three quick fouls. For this type of a game, definitely so. Uh, he's so many combinations that uh, Coach Knight has uh, developed, but this particular combination was good for North Carolina. Okay, we're in the action footage right now here, Jerry. I thought another one of the keys was the fact that IU shot 36% in the first half and was a point ahead after North Carolina had shot 50%. I just talked to Coach Knight about that, and obviously Isaiah Thomas was one for seven during that particular run, and he knew that Isaiah would come back, and obviously, as you saw, Isaiah did come back, and he came back strong. He's a tough player. Got 23 points after having only four in the first half, and Randy Whitman was 16 points. Just an extraordinary game. And Landon Turner, uh, I thought that uh, Ray Talbert played badly in the tournament, but he was a guy that just hung in there and played, you know, just hung in there. And I think the reason for that, Don, is he's a senior. That's and he's right. been under Coach Knight for four years now, and he knew that if you're playing poorly, there are other things that you can do to help the team. On the other side of the ledger, it uh, must be really awful for uh, the North Carolina people after having been here, what, five times now and yes. not having won it? Well, as far as Coach Knight is concerned, he'll just have to come back next year. <laughs> you know how <laughs> Coach Knight thought about it. And it was strange. I saw Coach Knight out there with John Havlicek, uh -huh. and they, of course, played with Ohio State, Ohio State back in 1962. And John was telling me he always had that competitive and that desire and that urge. So this is the way he feels about that particular game, that North Carolina just has to come back next year. It's it's been nice covering the tournament with you. Oh, I enjoyed this. Okay, and the folks, I hope, enjoyed the live coverage we had here, too. Let's go back to Indianapolis, Jerry. Good job, fellas, on that one. And while IU fans at the Spectrum came alive in Philadelphia, those less fortunate kept the spirit alive on the Bloomington campus. Bill Gephardt reports. NBC expected 50 million viewers tonight, and at the IU Bloomington campus, we found more than 100 of them. They packed into the Men's Association trophy room at the Student Union, perched in front of a television. 
Indiana fans had 1,600 tickets allotted to them, but judging from the noticeable lack of attendance at some classes today, many more than that took the trip to Philadelphia. The rest watched on NBC. I just want to see him win. I'm not used to all the hollering and yelling and everything. Yeah, it's nice to be here, but, you know, it looks pretty exciting out there. I'd rather be there than here. Yeah. New Center 13 crews remain in Bloomington tonight and will report on the celebrations. Bill Gephardt, New Center 13. And there you have it from Philadelphia, Indianapolis, and Bloomington. It's all over but the hooping and the hollering. Huh? <laughs> and there'll be yeah, a lot yeah, of that to come. I a lot of that down south tonight, sure. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment to recap the day's top story.